Our region is bracing for temperatures in mm -hmm. the teens. Meteorologist Tammy Souza, yeah. tell us more. Oh, you know what? We have not been this cold since last March. I don't think anybody was ready for it. About a week ago, what, we were pushing 80? Come on. I what? still haven't <laughs> bought a coat yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been looking, Christ, though. Christmas present. You're putting out hints, <laughs> aren't you? Man, it is cold out there, and you're going to need to bundle up. When you wake up tomorrow morning, you put the kids off to school, get yourself ready, you've got to be ready for something that is going to be shockingly cold. Outside right now, we are looking at clear skies, and the temperature is falling very, very quickly under these clear skies. It's 28 in Philadelphia right now, 23 in Allentown, 25 in Redding. We go down the shore, Atlantic City sitting at 27. It's 21 in Millville. Those are the actual air temperatures. We factor in the winds, and this is what it feels like right now. 19 in Philadelphia, 16 in Allentown, only 7 at Mount Pocono. We're looking at 22 as a wind chill in Atlantic City, and 15 in Millville. So it is brutally cold out there. And what we're tracking is the coldest night yet of the season, the coldest since last March. Uh, we're going to talk about when 50s return. We're going to have a nice dry and sunny stretch out there. And we do have a late week storm to talk about that could impact some of your travel. So right now, things are pretty quiet on Storm Scan 3. We have clear skies, a few clouds trying to drift in along the shore, but really not having much luck. We are looking across the region. It's clear we have high pressure in place just off to the west of us. The lake effect machine continues off of the Great Lakes, but it is beginning to taper off, which is good news there. Now we're watching this northwest wind come in. It is very cold air straight in from the Arctic, and we're watching high pressure. So three things are happening. We're windy, we're cold, and we're going to be clear because of the high pressure. We are going to continue to be clear overnight. You're going to wake up tomorrow morning, clear skies. The winds turn slightly off to the south and the west, and that warms us into the mid-40s tomorrow. 40s never sounded so good, did they? Tomorrow after Noon, things will be clear and right into tomorrow evening it looks like it's going to be pleasant out there. If you're going to be traveling Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday, we're going to be sunny, we're going to be cold, but we're going to start warming up each day as we move through the week and the travel conditions should be good. But we are going to be watching this storm. This is on Thursday. Clouds will move into the area. We have a little piece of energy passing by to the south of us. I think it is on Friday and into Saturday that we see this system passing by. So those are the days you're going to have to keep an eye on for travel around the area. Roads could be wet and we could have some delays by air. Here is your forecast. Thanksgiving right now. It looks wonderful at 55 degrees with increasing clouds. Chance of rain Friday and Saturday still quite mild, even mild into Saturday. Sunday, and that's good because that's when the Eagles are going to be playing. Tonight, we're going to be dropping down. Temperatures are going to be very cold across the area. We are going to be looking at 20s and teens. Tomorrow, we're going to be looking at warm temperatures. We're going to be looking at the 40s tomorrow, pushing the 50s by the time that we get into the remainder of the week. Ziza? All right, it looks like we have a little bit of warm up coming before Thanksgiving.